Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program where I, Zintho, attempt to go into space and do things. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a Felix Baumgarter, Baumgarter, I believe that's his name, I think I've got it right this time. Um, and then I'm going to be trying, going, trying to go to the moon. Um, it probably won't turn out very well, I did do a little, a few tests uh, with a moon, with... Zintron Moon Explorer 1, but they ended horribly, um, lots of people cried, um, there was a, a news report, I'm surprised you didn't see it, it was so horrible. Um, and then I made this, but I haven't tested it. But for now, let's do the Space Jump 1. So it's pre-made, because nobody wants to watch the boring bits of me sitting around trying to say something funny about the little men on the ground whilst um, I build something. So let's just go straight to the launch pad. I was trying to dock docking thing earlier and uh, well maybe we'll do some of that later um, so here we are we got Dan Lock Kermin in the thing today the capsule he's uh, he's looking a bit weird he's got puffy eyes a buzz cut he's sporting a buzz aldrin today you could say um, in in good in good honor as well so here we are the Sun is low in the sky and we're off I see us so today all we're gonna do is well, for now, anyway, all we're going to do is fly out to here, send young Danlock <laughs> outside the capsule, and then let let him fall to the ground, um, over ground, preferably. Yep, because who wants to be hitting water at terminal velocity? Because your skin gets ripped right off the bone. Lovely. That's what happens. There's a lesson for you kids. Never jump off a sky-rise building into a body of water. Instead, do it onto land, like I'm going to do today. <coughs> <coughs> I don't endorse anything. What's going on here? Why can't I... Okay, those need to be separated. I'm trying to move him over land, but he's shaking about a bit. He's shaking his capsule. He's so scared. Oh, I think we sorted it. Nope. Maybe. Maybe. Over a bit more. Come on. What's going on? Yeah, that'll do for now. Such a wonky orbit. Um, look at that steam cloud behind me. It's Danlock. He's fighting in his capsule and it's just leaving a cloud. Um, it's like an ICBM at the moment, isn't it? So where are we now? 70,000. Oh, well, I think we're pretty good now. We're going to crash land into the mountain, I guess. So here we have young Danlock. Um, he looks a bit like a vampire. I'm not, not saying anything. What is this? Why is that shiny? There must be something down there. I might even have to have to have a look at it later. Um, maybe in an episode. Maybe on my, by myself. All by myself. Don't wanna be. Um, so we're just waiting now for the apoapsis, and then. Young Dan Locke will fall to his doom. Straight into the gates of hell. Um, poor Dan Locke. He was bullied as a child, as a young seven year old boy, when he went to school. Everyone, everyone there took the mickey out of him. Young Kabissa, Kerman, Kirby. You could probably guess why, because he's not got K at the beginning of his first name. Um, they all took the mickey out of him. And for no reason as well, Dan Locke, because of the locks of hair, and he was so worried and so annoyed by what they said, he cut his hair right down to an inch of its life. Let's just send him out an EVA now since he's close. I don't want to let go. I don't want to fall down. Uh, no choice. So here he is. I've learned how to control RCS now since the last episode. Um, he's going to have a little flight with his capsule for now, um, but we'll see what happens as he, as he nears the ground. So his whole life has been leading up to this one moment, his entire life. When he was bullied, he said to the world, I want to be someone, someone special, someone people remember. And people certainly remember people who, for science, 
smash the ground with their face at 130 miles per hour, which is the terminal velocity for human beings. And young uh, Dan Locke will be the first to do that. You can call Felix a daredevil, but Felix had a parachute. Um, so here we go. All his teachers said he would be would be some Kermin in the space assembly building, waving their arms fanatically at an inanimate object, i.e. a rocket. But no, here he is now, doing something with his life. I know that something is going to end it, but still, it's more than most of us can say. Yes. There's another sparkly thing over there. Is this just the graphics of the sea or something, or is there actually things over there? I must must be bodies of water, because look at all this! There's, there can't be so much stuff they put in. Still in alpha. Here we go, the music stopped as the world has realised what is about to happen. <laughs> Goodbye, world. Goodbye, Dadlock. Oh! Who said that? Oh. His last moments on Kerbin. And he's scared to death by an unknown voice. It's mine. So far away, it's come. It's become a debris now. He can't. He can't even get to it. There's no hope. The space shuttle has got a parachute on it. If he could get back, he could probably save himself. But uh, well. Uh, must fly up. Never mind. This is going to be interesting. Now, I don't think they take fall damage because I've seen a lot of things happen with these young fellows on other videos where they've smashed into the ground and nothing's happened. So, oh, there he is. He's gone past. Bye-bye. Uh, it's interesting um, when, you, when you see like people skydiving in the parachute and they activate the parachute, it looks like they go up but they're not, it's just that the camera is moving so much faster that they appear to be moving upwards. So there's a little lesson. Here he comes! Up! Uh -huh. Oh dear. Oh my god, I didn't know that was going to happen. He just exploded into a cloud of dust. He'll be forever remembered. Well, he wanted his ashes scattered over the mountains of Kerbin. And that's exactly what happened not through the normal process. So that's what happens to you guys. If you fall down from space with no protective armor, um, you explode into a cloud of what looks like flour. What's going on? Why is it so blurry? Is that just me zooming in a lot? Yeah. I'm staring at where he died. <laughs> Poor Danlock. Forever remembered. And there we go. Crashed into the terrain. Congratulations, Dunlock. Anyway, so here we are. Now, if that wasn't special enough for you, we've now got our moon flight. Let's see what happens. So I haven't actually tested this yet. Um, so it's certainly going to be interesting. It's a bit of a beast. May have gone a little bit of overkill because I was worried there was so much stuff it wouldn't be able to go. Uh, what I've got here is like a landing capsule. Um, this, which is for docking, although it might have a little bit of trouble with these bars over it, um, and then the actual command capsule with three curb, curb knots in it. Um, and in order to make that take off, I had to use all of these. Uh, no idea if it's going to work or not, probably won't, I'm not going to lie. Zintron Moon Explorer 2, for when we finally reach the moon. So we got Greg Orm. Kelwell and Rodorf, all wearing silver because they're hipsters. Um, they haven't got an expression on their faces. They all look like pills, green pills that you might take with your breakfast if you suffer from greenitis. Um, so I've got some RCS on the rocket today to help it move around when I'm trying to dock. And lots of power. So three, two, one. <laughs> So it's taking off now. It's actually working. Um, oh. Just realise this is a place. Up. And then... So 
that gives those rockets off. And then when these rockets... Oh no, that one's about to die. <laughs> this middle one. Can I control that? No, I can't. See, I'm worried about it overheating. Let's look how easily it can overheat. Let me lose the next bunch. And they all go. Brilliant. I probably should have put some separation status on. Oh well, I guess I'm using the lander, which has barely any power. So we're now just disappearing into a cloud of smoke. We're hovering in midair. <laughs> oh dear. We're making amazing progress here to the moon. Only 200,000 more meters to go. Um, there's the debris as it falls to the earth. I hope no one's down there, otherwise they've got a nasty surprise in front. He looks happy. He, he just doesn't care. And he's happy. I'm glad they're happy as they face death. Um, I might try and save them, actually. So we'll see what happens as these rockets give out. So let's just calmly land, I think. I'm slowly going to go down. <laughs> it's not quite a moon landing. Indeed, it's not... I haven't even made any progress. I wonder what that is. So there they go. We've now only got this little rocket left. Um, it's not got a lot of power, so I'm actually going to disconnect it. And then activate the next rocket, which is the same rocket, funnily enough. But we are now moving, slowing down. He's, he's going his own way. He's off to the moon. We're going to find him in next time we actually go there and he's going to be up there, he's, he's made it. Um, but yeah, we're just slowing ourselves down a bit. I've activated the parachute. Um, I didn't realise I haven't put a separation stage here. Maybe I did and I haven't done it. Um, but yeah, we might survive. Probably won't. Um, he's dropped. Ah, there we go. Brilliant. Hello! Hello down there! Don't look at me! I'm sorry. So at least they've survived. Um, can rename the vessel. Rename the vessel. How do you spell disowned? I don't know. Failure of life, Earth, under. There we go. You are the failure of my life, young man. Young thing. Oh my god, this somehow survived. God knows. How? And there's the RTS. Well, how far do you think we made it? 100 metres? Maybe a bit more. There's the thing. Oh, there we go. It says 864 meters. That's how far we made it. Not quite the 300,000 meters, kilometers, whatever the unit is. Um, but at least, at least, come on. At least they can get back. Ah, oh, so guys. I'm not going to end flight here, just going to watch young whatever this guy is walk back. No, I'm just joking. Um, so there we are. That went well. Um, I think I'm going to try and do a docking thing now, but you, you'll have to wait for the next episode to see what happens there. So, see you guys.